My mother-in-law uh, became ill on a Saturday. My wife and my sister-in-law took her to the emergency room and it was determined that she needed to go to the intensive care unit. All of a sudden there was a flurry of activity and there were three nurses in the room. Three nurses in an ICU room mean that something is seriously wrong. That led to a 45 day journey and a fight battling sepsis. Every hour of delayed diagnosis increases the risk of death by four to 7%. The ability to bring together petabytes of data and to be able to ask the questions that we need to ask, to be able to bring answers to the bedside, that's really the goal of being a learning health system. When the computer is monitoring those things, we can intervene in a way that saves lives. We can train algorithms, particularly with tools that Red Hat provides, to be able to answer questions in a way that no one else can. And sometimes we capture that in new algorithms like our sepsis prediction and optimization of therapy, or SPOT tool. SPOT is built on open source. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is underneath all of SPOT. We use OpenShift, we use Ansible Tower for automation. All of these tools playing together nicely has been critical for us to be able to move as quickly and deploy it in hundreds of clinical settings with confidence. When we look at our surviving sepsis campaign and the implementation of SPOT, we've saved nearly 8,000 lives. The SPOT's an example of where we can use AI and data and technology to improve people's lives and let people be best at doing what people do, which is caring for another. Well, I am firmly convinced that the early alerting from SPOT allowed my mother-in-law to survive and be here today, to be able to enjoy a birthday with her great-grandson yesterday. It's amazing to me that we can use technology in a manner such as this to be able to save this person's life.